just to tire in and out accordingly. Eventually it'll come out. If you keep turning it little by little, it'll eventually pop out. Try this side here without any soap and water, see if it's better. Eh, I doubt it. Some manual power into it but then, then again don't forget it's a manual tire changer right there's a little pin here you need to put it shove it in through the hole just so the rim doesn't spin on you. One thing I would have liked them to do, which I'm going to see if I can make one, is have this as in a cone shape so it can go sit right into the hole so the rim doesn't move around that much. One thing you don't want to definitely do is use this machine on a, an aluminum rim or any rim that you cherish. This thing is good like for people like me that wants the tires off for metal for scrap or just old trailer tires. But yeah, don't use don't use this machine on the aluminum rims.
one modification I want to do to this is this pipe for a guy like me that doesn't have that much strength anymore I'm not 30 or 20 years old anymore uh, I want to get another piece to extend this something that I can just put over here so I'm gonna see if I can modify a piece of pipe for me this is too short I'm not that strong anymore Some rims will be harder than others. See, this is where I wish I had that extension. Maybe we should just make one, right? Give me a second, I'm gonna go see if I can find a piece of pipe. So I found the bar that I cut the size. I cut these two pieces here off camera. I'm just gonna weld them here. funny as I age now I need three different sets of glasses I can actually just cut this off and shove this pipe in it, but I don't want to ruin this bar in case, like, I haven't used this piece here yet, but in case one day uh, I need it. Yeah, so I don't want to get rid of this piece, so I'm going to modify something just to go over it. This will actually go like that. I think that'll work. I'm just going to finish welding this and everything. So I'll turn the camera on, back on once I'm done.
I can't get it in. There we go. There we go. That works like that. Much better leverage. Oh, that'll work. <laughs> this is a huge, huge improvement. Machine is not bad for 70 bucks. But as I said, don't use this on aluminum rims. Eventually I'm gonna try to modify this into a cone. So it can fit right into here. This way then I might try it with an aluminum rim. But this here moves around a lot. It will damage your rim. Yeah, all I did was bolt the, the tire changer to a skid. And it actually works pretty good, especially with that extension. That extension helps me a lot. Anyway, is it worth it to 70 bucks? Yeah, for a guy like me that needs to take tires off rims for scrapping in and that and changing tires over every once in a while on my trailer and that. Yeah, for me it's worth it. If you're just doing your own car aluminum rims or whatever don't even bother I wouldn't even bother putting an uh, aluminum rim on here anyway guys thanks for watching cheers